So today, Nils, we're going to have a look at the Python editor and mm -hmm. code in Python with the BBC Microbit. Yes. Uh, and we have <coughs> popped over to microbit.org, and here we have the Microbit web page. So where do we start? Well, let's press the button, let's code. Let's code. And from here, Oh, so here we see all the different editors. And exactly. I mean, it might look a bit different f when you look as it looks now, because this page is a bit changing. Yeah, it's changing a lot. They're still developing a lot of these editors. So <coughs> you can see some of them have like beta versions you can try at this moment. So maybe that probably looks different. But the one that we're interested in now is the one that's called Python. Exactly. So I'll just start with the editor, I guess. Uh, well, there are uh, some more buttons over there. You see start the editor, but there's also documentation and lessons. And it's actually a good thing to open the documentation as a separate tab in your browser, so you can go back, uh, back and forth between the documentation and the editor. So I'll open that in a new tab here behind mm -hmm. and keep that there. Yeah. yeah. And then I'll start the editor. Exactly. So yeah, now we're in the Python editor. Mm -hmm. What is Python? Uh, Python is a programming language. Uh, there are a lot of programming languages you can uh, work with uh, nowadays. And, but Python is, is a quite a good choice to, to start with if you want to learn programming, because it's a it's rather easy way of, of writing uh, programming code. It's quite uh, clean. And, but still, it's, a, it's a, a real programming language that is used every day all over the world. It's like, what, y what do you use Python for? Uh, well, some big names that uh, I can name that use Python are like uh, YouTube and uh, uh, Instagram, uh, Dropbox. Oh, uh, so big, big services. Yeah. Mm. Uh, and uh, why is it called Python? Uh, well, that was inspired by uh, Monty Python. The, the British humor group. Exactly. Ah. So I guess you could find like small snippets of information about the Monty Python gang. Yeah, you sometimes find those. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, so if we look here at the Python editor, it's uh, browser-based. Mm -hmm. I see a bunch of different code here, all from the start. And if we, we look here on the first line, I see that there's a hashtag. And uh, then there's italics. Yeah. What does that mean? So when you put this uh, hashtag, it means that every all the text uh, after this is a comment. Uh, and that means that it's just uh, text for humans to read. So the computer doesn't care about whatever you write there. It's going to ignore it. OK, so if I'm writing code and I need to remember something or explain something, yeah. then I would use the hashtag and I would write something after that. And that would be like a comment within it, and it wouldn't be read by the computer. Yeah, exactly. So oh. it does nothing to your code except for that it's easier for you to read. And then on the second line of code here, I see it says from microbit import and then a, a small uh, star. Hmm? What, does this, uh, what does this line mean? Uh, well, what this line does is that it, it uh, loads in, it takes in a, a, a lot of code in the background that we don't see. Uh, and this is the code that we need to be able to control our microbit. So what this does is that we can write just a few lines and make stuff happen on the microbit. So we would need this line of code no matter what we do when we work with the microbit. Yeah. Yeah. OK, so that's the sort of starting point. Yeah. Then on line five, I see uh, a line that says while true mm -hmm. uh, colon. And then there's three new lines, but they're sort of taken in indented, by a tab, yeah. indented, yeah. What, what, does this, uh, what does this mean? Uh, so this is a while loop. Uh, a while loop means that it will loop through a block of code as long as uh, the thing you write after while is true. And in this case, uh, it says while true. And true is always true, so it's going to uh, loop through this forever. So this, uh, these three lines of code that come afterwards, they will just go round and round and round all yeah. the time. Yeah. Uh, and this tab, uh, why is it indented? Yeah, that's a good question. It's uh, a thing of, of Python is that they use uh, indentation, so this tab, to show uh, that uh, a piece of code uh, belongs inside uh, another uh, piece. So, so if I would want, if I if I would want to write something more inside of this uh, forever loop, mm -hmm. I would on line nine have to make a, a tab, tab before you and write then write my yeah. code. Yeah. yeah. But if I would write it directly on line 9, 
it would come outside. That, yeah, exactly. Okay. So, and since that's true all the time, this means that this loop will loop forever and ever, and it's just the three lines. So, yeah. so if we have a look at those lines, the first one here, display, it feels like it will show stuff on the micro bit. Yeah, so this uses the screen, the yeah. display. Yeah. And then it says scroll, so mm -hmm. I guess it will scroll on the display. Yeah. And the thing in parentheses here is uh, a piece of text. Hello world. And it's like grayed out, but that means that that text will be the text. Mm, yeah, so it's the parentheses that show that this is a piece of text. Uh, and you give it to the function scroll, uh, which will then display that text on your uh, display on the micro bit. Ah, OK. So it's like a three step process on that line of code. It's like I write the text, and then it uh, says scroll, so it will scroll, and it will scroll it on the display. Yeah, well, yeah. The, the scroll function is part of, of the display. The display function. Uh, and on the second line, that's also a display function, but mm. another one. Then. Mm. Yeah, so it's a show. Yeah. And inside of that, there's image.heart. Mm. It feels like Can it you will. you guess what it does? <laughs> I guess that it will show a heart symbol on the LEDs. Exactly. Yeah. And then the third line, sleep 2000. Uh, what does that mean? Mm. So sleep means that it, uh, the program will pause for a moment. It will wait there. And 2000 means two seconds. Ah, OK, so two th so it's milliseconds that yep. it shows. Ah, OK. So I obviously want to change things here. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'll start with, uh, I want to make a name tag. Mm -hmm. So I'll change the hello world here to Carl. But I'll keep mm -hmm. the small. Exactly, yeah, you need those. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then on the second line, I don't want the image heart. I want another image. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, in this case, we don't know which images exist because these are like built-in uh, images. So that's a, a place where you would go to the documentation to find, okay, what images can I choose from? Uh, the th thing that we had on the tab. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So here on the documentation tab, what would I find in here? Mm -hmm. uh, well, if you look on the left side, there are in the menu, there are a lot of things. And it starts with uh, some introductions that give you very good examples and, and lessons to get started with Python. Uh, so it's a very good place to, uh, to read through and, and learn stuff. Uh, and then more lower down, you will find parts where uh, you can find specific functions that exist for all the different uh, parts of the microbit. And I was interested in finding an image, mm -hmm. and I would then guess that I'm going to click on the image. Yeah. Uh, so, so this is an uh, introduction about images and how you can use them. So here, to start with, I see this function, how to display mm -hmm. an image. Yeah. That's the one we're using also. And then a bit further down here, I see a list of built-in images. Mm -hmm. So there's quite a lot of images. Yeah. So I'll change the heart to something else. Yeah. Let's see here. And it doesn't show what they look like. So it's just a matter of try it out and see what you get on your microphone. OK, so I'll try the image.cow. Sounds good. I will open up the editor again. And I'll paste it over. Paste it over. So we have mm -hmm. the cow. And then we have the sleep command. I'll change that to one second just mm -hmm. for sports. So we have sleep go. 1000. Mm -hmm. So then I guess I could uh, download, uh, download it, it and uh, put it over. So I'll press download. I'll go to my finder. And I'll download to the micro bit. Mm -hmm. And it's blinking. Yeah, and we'll see. Now I see that it's copying the code. And there we go. And there comes your name. And a cow. <laughs> yeah, and it pauses for a second. Yeah. After the cow. That's, that's one second. Yeah. There. And there it goes again. And since it was a loop, it goes it around. It keeps going, around. yeah. So in this way, we have had a look at the Python editor mm -hmm. and the documentation. And we've seen a bit about how you get started with programming in Python and putting stuff over to the microbit. Mm -hmm.